fellow seekers. Welcome to The Seeker's Path with Dr. Innes. I'm Dr. Innes. This video is part of the Guided Meditations and Experiences series. And I wanted to offer you a guided meditation as another tool for working with anxiety. It's certainly something that's created in the mind with our with stressful thoughts. We have a tendency to believe what pops up in our mind. But when we really look at those, we tend to f find that it's simply not true. But we have these thoughts, these anxious thoughts that happen in our mind, and it creates electrochemical signals throughout our bodies and so we experience the emotions of it and as you know it can feel awful right so mindfulness is a powerful tool i cannot underemphasize i can't overemphasize rather how powerful mindfulness can be in the process of working with your mind working with everything that happens in our mind. So get yourself comfortable sitting somewhere, preferably with both feet on the floor. Rest your hands comfortably in your lap. It's good to have your back straight. And if you're comfortable, close your eyes. And I want you to just notice your sense of hearing. Notice that your ears hear. And you think of your ears like receivers. You don't have to go looking for sounds. Your ears just receive the sounds. And as you're aware of your sense of hearing, you'll notice that sounds come and go. Even something that seems to be a steady sound, as you explore it deeply, you'll discover that there are variations in it. And like everything, sound comes and goes. And now I want you to let your awareness rest on the sensations of where your body connects with the world. So feel yourself sitting on whatever it is you're sitting on. Feel the pressure against your back. Feel the pressure against your legs, the weight of your legs on the chair or couch. Feel your feet on the floor. You might be able to sense your shoes or socks. Notice the sensation of the weight of your hands resting wherever they are. You might notice the sensation of the weight of your hair or your clothes. So just tune into that for a moment. Now you've probably noticed already that your mind will pop in there with thoughts. And actually, it's not a problem. A lot of people think that if their mind is active when they're meditating, then it means they're not doing it right. And that's simply not the case. Your eyes see, your ears hear, your skin feels, and your brain thinks. That's what it does. So don't make thinking a problem. It's just something that happens. And I don't think it ever works to wrestle with our brains. We're always going to lose that one. 
So simply notice, just like you did with hearing, you noticed your sense of hearing, you noticed sounds. Notice that you're thinking. Notice that thoughts pop up. And there's only one thought at a time. They might, they might come in rapid succession, but there's only one at a time. And it comes and it goes, and it comes and it goes. So just observe that. A little bit like you would watch birds fly across the sky. You don't try to grab them and pull them down. You just let them fly across the sky. Try that with your thoughts. So now I want you to direct your attention, your awareness, your observation to your breathing. So you might notice the air flowing in and out of your nose, or you might notice the rise and fall of your chest, or you might just tune into the sense of your whole body breathing. Riding it kind of like a wave, kind of being aware of the expansion of the in-breath and the relaxation of the out-breath. And it's just like a wave that rises and falls. And you let your awareness just kind of ride that the sensations of the rising and the falling. And you, if you notice you get distracted by a sound or you get distracted by thoughts popping up in your mind, that's fine. It's not a problem. Just be aware of what is happening, thought, and come back to your sensations of breathing. The breath can be your anchor for now. Just feeling the wave of the in-breath and the out-breath. And not mind, mindlessly, but with curiosity and attention to what does it really feel like to breathe? It's actually quite hard to be fully present and aware for an entire breath. To notice that it starts from nowhere, or you actually might notice the urge before you even begin to breathe. So experiment with that. Now, when we're anxious, and I kind of hate to disturb you now, but perhaps think of a mildly anxious sensation or topic or um, situation. And just bring it to mind for a moment. And notice, kind of observe the kind of thoughts that pop up in your mind and observe the feelings in your body. And you're staying still in the meditation. You're observing what's happening. So notice the kinds of thoughts that are connected with this feeling of anxiety. And notice the sensations in your body that are associated with this label of anxiety. And as you're doing this, I want you to stay connected with your breath, breathing in and breathing out. And as you breathe out, you can kind of say silently in your mind to yourself, to your whole being, 
letting go. Breathing in, breathing out and letting go. And imagine those thoughts, all those anxious thoughts, kind of draining out of the bathtub. They're like dirty water in the bathtub. Pull the plug on that. And as you breathe out, just let them go down the drain. Feel the uncomfortable places in your body and do the same thing. Just as you breathe out, as you breathe in, fill them with air. And as you breathe out, letting go. And imagine them melting. And continue to breathe into those uncomfortable places. You can notice whatever is there. You might notice physical sensation. You might have a sense of hot or cold. You might have a sense of color or shape or something connected with an emotion. It's fine. Don't get too caught up in that. Just observe it and breathe into it and as you breathe out letting go and softening you're just practicing letting go breathing in and letting go it's softening just sit with this for a few moments you can imagine the anxiety, tension, fear, whatever it is. Imagine it moving out with your breath. You can imagine it flowing down your body, out your feet, into the ground, or perhaps melting off of you. Doesn't matter. Whatever feelings and images come to you is perfect. And just stay with it with a curious, open, acknowledging, kind attention to it. And if you get distracted by sounds, your attention gets drawn away, it's perfectly okay. You just notice that you're hearing and you come back. And it's in the coming back that you develop the muscle of mindfulness. It's really in the waking up, in the noticing part. Noticing is being awake. We're usually lost in our just the sea of our mind. We're believing it all. We get lost in the sensations of our bodies. And when we're lost, we have no freedom. There's no room to choose. You're kind of stuck. So as you practice these skills of mindfulness, of being aware, of observing your experience, all of your experience, without pushing it away, without trying to avoid the things that are uncomfortable, without trying to grab on to the stuff that seems cool, but just being sitting in the midst of it all and allowing it to come and go, as is its nature, as is your nature. So just stay with this for a moment more. Breathing and letting go. And now I want you to let go of whatever it was and just feel yourself sitting where you are 
have a an awareness of sitting in the room where you are feel your space in the room feel the energy of the things that are around you and that you're in a context You're making contact with the world. And then when you're ready, open your eyes and begin to gently move around. This is perfect because as we uh, were practicing, practicing this, we had some great opportunities to have our attention called away, have our focus challenged when, you know, by the distraction of cars and trucks driving by. So it was actually great that that happened. Okay, I encourage you to practice this every day, even for five minutes. This is a powerful practice and it starts to change your brain. It starts to actually rewire your brain. And you can sit and just um, use the breath as your anchor and practice letting yourself be aware of what's happening around you or inside of you and then and letting go. Practicing the letting go. And practice doing it uh, maybe with some uncomfortable emotions, situations, thoughts. And then you can start doing it in real time when you're out, you know, in your life and things happen, something feels bad, your anxiety gets kicked up. Just pause for a moment, for a few moments and tune into your breath as your anchor because it's always there. You can always turn into your breath tune into your breath and use it as a way to connect with yourself and ground and then practice letting go. Okay, that's it for today. I will look forward to connecting with you again in mindfulness. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get the regular content that I'm putting out. Okay, uh, go forth and be mindful and be well.